guys, welcome back to Science Talks with Kate and Serene. Today we're going to be learning about why bananas turn brown. Yeah, so we have a fun um, craft that we're going to do, and you can do this in... All you need is a toothpick and a green and a yellow banana, and it's really fun to make this. Um, we call it our secret messages. So, bananas, you can see this one right here, really and a lot of other fruits turn brown as they age after, or they are picked off of the off of the plant, right? See, like this one would probably have, like. This one would probably have been picked off of the of a banana tree like a few a, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Because it's yellow and it that, it barely has any brown on it except for that little dot. Yeah. So fruits um, may turn brown because of the oxidative properties it has. So as it, um, and I can get into that a little bit more later, but that's why it starts to age. I think people are a lot the same way, and certain certain things can that we eat and we we take in um, can make us brown a little bit. Yeah, maybe more of the brown foods. Maybe that's why we need to eat a little bit more of the colorful ones. We do have a fun um, activity that we would like to share. Um, Cadence, do you want to tell you want to tell us what that activity is? So we're gonna take a toothpick and we're gonna draw on the banana and wait for a minute, and then it will turn brown. So why do you think it does that? Because of the air around us. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know something that can keep it from turning brown? Like if you cut fruits up and you try to put it in a salad or something, sometimes it'll turn brown. But you know, you want to know a secret what? that you can use so that you don't turn foods, so they can keep them from turning brown? Uh-huh. So you can use citric acid. You know what citric acid is? No. So it's like what you find in uh, citrus fruits, like oranges or lemons or limes. Yeah, and the juice from that helps coat the fruits that turn brown. Apples do the same thing. And then it'll keep your uh, your vegetables tasting more fresh because the more they get brown, the the mushier they get and they're not as they're not as crisp. Yeah, and we don't want that. Except for strawberries. Mm. Because strawberries you can like um dry and then they turn into like a really crunchy you can do that with a lot of fruits, yeah, freeze yeah. dried fruits. Like bananas. Mm hmm. And, and grapes. They turn into raisins. They can turn into raisins if you and take the water out of them, huh? Yeah, and if and if you want dried cranber cranberries, then they turn out as um, craisins. As craisins, yeah. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and make a mark. We're going to show you a little bit of how this works. Cadence wants you to draw something on the side of that. Don't push in too hard. We only want to take the top little bit of the coating off of the banana peel. So this, the process of an, a fruit uh, turning brown is called enzymatic browning. You don't push into it. You just scrape off the top a little bit, and it'll turn brown. You don't have to go in very far at all. Okay. So this is a chemical reaction that's actually taking place in order for that um, banana to start turning brown. And we'll explain more of that as we go, okay? Okay. All right. So you want to show me one that we've already done? What does that say? You are beautiful. <laughs> you are beautiful. That's the one that she did. Yeah, <laughs> that is the one that I did. And we did that, and it only takes a minute, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yours should start, should start turning here pretty quickly. Yeah, it's already a bit brown. Mm -hmm. So the oxidation, this is called um, an oxidation in the food, and that oxidation means that it's losing electrons. Electrons. Electrons is part of the chemical makeup of it, which we haven't really gone that far yet, but we will. So the opposite of 
this is really those dried fruits that you were talking about. So like the opposite of this is mm -hmm. dry bananas? Kind of. So do you know what um, citric acid is? Um, it's an acid that you find in lemons, limes, and oranges. Yes, but what, um, what is vitamin C? That's what citric acid is. So what is vitamin C? Uh, vitamin C is, or it's an, is oranges and... Yes, but it's an antioxidant. Antioxidant. So if, if this is oxid if this is the oxidation of foods and losing electrons, antioxidant probably means that it's going to slow that process, huh? Yeah, lots of fruits and berries have a lot of are really high in antioxidants too. What it does is it lowers the pH level, the citric acid does, when you coat the food in it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't act what's with the, the oxygen in the pH? air as much. Do what? What's the pH level? pH level. So we're going to learn about that in another video. Our pH levels, there's a scale. And you can go from an acid to a base, and then there's a middle part that's a neutral. So you can go from 1 to 14, and the middle is a 7, and that's a neutral. Um, yeah, we'll learn more about that. Okay. I have, we have a really fun experiment that we, are, we can learn about that. Yeah. All right, can, have, are you turning brown yet? Um, barely. Barely? Kind of. Split. Let me see. But it's not as, bad, as good as that. <laughs> oh, it is starting to turn brown already. You see that? Awesome. Okay, so friends, I want you guys to um, try this at home. Write us a note, share something positive with us, and we would love to see um, all your creative ideas. And I guess we will talk to you later. You want to say bye, Cadence? This is squishy. Yeah, don't do that. It's that one. Well, that one we're putting in a smoothie. <laughs> so a lot of people think that um, the brown is really mold when it's not mold. It's um, what people think that. Well, a lot of people think that the brown that's starting to turn on the outside of the peels and stuff is mold, but it's really not. That's, that's just getting older. Mmm, just getting older. Yeah, it's just getting older. That's all that's don't happening. Ju don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's right. You could still use that fruit in the inside. And actually, it's getting sweeter and sweeter. And then it gets to a point that you really don't want to eat it. <laughs> but you can use it in like banana bread and stuff. So, but we will um, see what's going on later.